What is up guys? Welcome back to the Mitch Does Coffee YouTube channel and today we're talking about the Vietnamese coffee dripper also known as a fin. Now I may not have pronounced that correctly as I've seen a few different ways of it being pronounced. Let's just roll with fin because that's how it sounds to me. Now there seems to be some confusion as to where this started but it does date back to the 1850s um, whether it started in Vietnam or France or Italy. I'm not too sure. I've done research and I've just found too much discrepancy in the answer but this exact brewer is actually from the Cafe Florian. If you don't know what the Cafe Florian is I'll tell you it is the oldest constantly running cafe in existence. It has existed for over 300 years non-stop. Very impressive massive story behind it. The place is gorgeous. It is art. Anyway moving forward I'm going to show you how to brew a Vietnamese coffee using the Finn Brewer and I've got a little hack because it seems to fit onto a Kruv cup perfectly. So what we're going to do, we've got some water being boiled in the background. We're going to pop our dripper on top of our glass. I've just done it in this so that you can actually see what's happening. You don't have to do that. Then we're going to put in 20 grams of coarse ground coffee into the dripper. Um, honestly, I've tried a lot of different recipes. And as long as you grind it coarse, it's completely fine. And dark roasts definitely work slightly better in this. But I don't like dark coffee, so we're not going to do that. Then what we're going to do is we will tear everything after you pop that little, I don't know what it's called, but we're putting that in there. And then we're going to grab some water and pour in double the weight of the coffee. So 40 grams of boiling water as a bit of a bloom. So pour in your water, 40 grams or double the amount of coffee you put in. And then we're going to wait for that bloom water to drip all the way through. It can take about 30, maybe a little bit longer. It honestly doesn't really make much of a difference. I've tried this in many different ways. As long as it's boiling water, and as long as it's coarsely ground, the coffee ends up tasting exactly the same. Then once all of that bloom water is through, slowly pour in water until you fill the brewing chamber up. Now for this brew, we've ended up with 160 ml of water to 20 grams of coffee, which is quite a strong brew ratio, um, as this coffee is going to be quite strong. Now traditionally, you would brew this over condensed milk to give it that sweetness that it will definitely need because it is a very strong brew. Now expect the brew time to take a total of about three to four minutes. This is completely normal. If it goes quicker than that, you've maybe gone too coarse or the water isn't hot enough. There's a couple of variables there that you might need to play with. Um, and if it goes the other way, play with your grind setting. And if you are planning on making this with condensed milk, just put condensed milk in the bottom of the cup that you're brewing it into, and it will essentially mix itself. Um, you will need to give it a little bit of a stir, um, but that will give it a very sweet flavor. Once all of your water is in, pop the lid on top. That will just keep the brew temperature stable. Once the water stops dripping, you know that your brew has finished. Take off your lid. Pop that to the side, don't touch that. Grab a cloth, it's hot, it is very hot. Grabbing that, pop it to the side, and you're almost ready to drink this. So that's hot, so don't drink it yet. I'm gonna wait a minute, and then I'm gonna pour it into this beautiful little cup that is also from the Florian. This was a gift from a friend, and uh, it is insanely expensive, so I'm going to be very careful. Now that this coffee is at a reasonable drinking temperature, I'm going to pour it in and taste. Oh, it is strong. It is very strong. If you enjoy strong coffee, try this recipe. Uh, that, is, oh, that is a serious brew ratio going on there. Um, it is delicious. It's just very very strong. You could water it down or having it, like I said, with the condensed milk, it would be nice and sweet, but I'm going to enjoy it just like that because I enjoy coffee way too much. And um, yeah, the stronger, the better in my opinion. So if you have a Finn Brewer, pop the comments below as to how you do it, because there's so many different recipes I've seen. This is my version with a very strong coffee uh, and it is good. I enjoy it. So let me know what you think, guys pop some comments, give a like and subscribe and all those things and have yourselves a great day. Happy brewing.